Welcome back to part two, South Park, Stick of Truth. That is what we're playing. Let us carry on. We have to now save Buzz from being attacked. Let's do it. Sorry. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Titles on. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. But my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. I'm Dean Ambrose. I have a buttery friend. You just made your first friend in South Park. Messages from your friends will show up here on your homepage. To see all your friends you've made, use the left trigger or right trigger to move to the collectibles tab. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Let's go. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Yeah. Did I Colorado? Yeah. Oh, hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. No, not yet. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. <laughs> oh, the jokes are just gonna... They're just gonna come thick and fast and sexy. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And Great here, of course, yes. is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Keep on rolling, Kenny. Talk to Cap. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. <laughs> my loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse, but mostly a curse. Yes, yes indeed. Now I must go talk. Hello, Kenny. <laughs> you make a good point. However, I wouldn't do that to a mustache. If you paid me. Find a flower for Kenny. But first I will talk to Cap. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. My name is Dean Ambrose. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? No. Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Yeah. Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white thief? A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. <laughs> a fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. Ooh. It's a tough choice, man. Fighter or thief are the ones that are more Dean Ambrose. He's like a fighter. Stealing the hearts of many women around the world just by going, Hey girl. Uh. 
A mage is like a wizard, only not a oh, white fighter. Uh, Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. We'll go fire. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Fighter. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Go to the weapon shop, man. Buy a weapon from Clyde. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? <laughs> what you got, man? What you got for me? A warrior's blade. Ah, a lovely purchase. Thank you. But don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. Uh, I don't think I... That doesn't fit your class, stupid. <laughs> well, excuse me. No. 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 You're just supposed to buy a weapon. Come back later for other stuff. New kid has checked out everything in my backyard. Hardcore gamer. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Equip my weapon. Mm. Uh, yes. There he is. That is... His weapon. Oh, I don't need to do that yet. Surfer wig. <laughs> uh, fighter's armor. I don't need to worry about any of this yet, man. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know yeah. it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. Yeah. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. All right. Warrior's bled. Dick? That all you got? Oh my god, it's butters all over again. <laughs> okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Ah! Ah! <sighs> try again. Focus right before you strike. All right. There we go. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. I dodged that. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your back. When I see the indicator, press. A to block. Prepare yourself. Ah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Aren't you, dude? I'm usually no back. good at timed events. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. PP. <laughs> PP. <laughs> If you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde! Fucking asshole! This is so I'm the good. King and I say it's PP! Douchebag, use your fighter ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Yeah. But it is assault and battery. Come on, fight! Oh! <laughs> that was good. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. What? I thought I did all right. Ah! 
heck? We don't want that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This does double damage. Inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. Quick your weapon, me carbon inside his tent. <laughs> I think the Grand Wizard wants you to meet him in the war tent. I know, I was just saying hi, Buzz. Uh. <laughs> well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Tis a mighty stick indeed. Now that you've seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. Uh, this is part two. Over and done with. Join me again at some point for part three. Thanks for watching, bros. More PewDiePie references. End with a Tabuskas reference with the darkness. And no, redness, then. Just join me again in part three. See you later, peoples.